Morning guys, I'm on Thurlow Point and I want to show you something really interesting. First I want to show you what the typical fisherman will, will see and uh, gravitate towards. So uh, yeah, just, just follow me and then once we've done that I'm going to record the screen on my Lawrence with the fish tech chart and see what we can see with that as opposed to the naked eye. So let's have a look. Your typical angler will roll up on here, spot these uh, rocks, and I can tell you will thrash the hell out of this area because of this visual attraction. I'm going to show you what we can do on the charts. But as you can see, it, it, it certainly is an interesting area, and you can understand why guys would, would target this. But let's have a look what's on the charts. Okay guys, now, now we're looking at the charts and we are looking at the satellite. Now, satellite um, is obviously a fantastic tool and it's mostly free and yes. But if you're looking for smaller detail, you can see there's, there's definitely something changing here. There's a contrast here, but the detail isn't fantastic. Um, you, you do lose quite a bit of detail and then you've got to start guessing you can see there's a transition there but you don't know if that was sand going onto vegetation at the time of the vegetation I mean on the time of the satellite uh, image was was taken so, so it, it, it's a little bit of a hit and miss but if you take that and you change that to let's say uh, our aerial HD this is done with a drone you can immediately see what's the story here uh, this is done when when uh, this imagery was was done when the dam first dropped off dramatically so the vegetation hadn't had much of a chance to actually grow but the thing that I want to show you compared to what um, you know the naked eye is going to see and attract you to certain things is I want to get as close to this M56 as possible now remember this is the exact location of where the drone was when it took the photograph it's not of the subject in the photograph if you know what I mean so if you see something interesting you've got to use your skyline in in the background so if I click on that so you click on the little pop-up you click on the image now now look what what we've got now you're going to look at the trees in the background you can spot lock on your ghost or whatever trolling motor you've got with the spot lock and then sort of familiarize yourself with what's in the background the mountains the trees whatever and as you can see you've now got a very good detail of what is below the water here now, now that it's obviously a high pool, but there's a lot of rocks here. So how do we identify something that's more special than just the rocks on their own? Because there's quite a bit of rock. Look in the center of the screen. I'm going to zoom in again. It's these little, I think they wattle. It's these little wattle trees, hard as nails. I can tell you now, if there's a large area of rocks like this, and you can find this little wattle tree here from your panoramic imagery. I tell you what, and especially if you've got a live scope, you could sit on that waypoint there, um, that M56 spot lock there, and take your live scope and scan for these little brush piles. And I, I know I'm at Thurlow and I'm on Midmar Dam, but this is something you can apply to any of the charts anywhere in the country where you've got imagery like this so yeah um, and then of course with your live uh, scope you will be seeing what is hanging around or active target or hummingbird live or whatever uh, you'll see what is hanging around these little uh, uh, wattle stumps or bushes whatever around the rocks anyway I thought you guys might find that interesting <laughs> 